Welcome to the world of amazing birds of prey. Hey, Henry. Feeding the birds, huh? I sure am. Nuts, seeds, you know. And cake, by the looks of it. Shh. My mom sent it. Can't stand it myself. But the birds love it. Hey! Where are you going? Something scared them. And I can see what... Ah! What was that? And what are those? They're just birds. Just birds? They've got huge claws and great big pointy beaks. They're birds of prey. What's a bird of prey? It's a bird that hunts other animals. Okay. I'm out of here. Henry. Henry, come back. Don't you want to know about these beautiful birds? Sure. I just don't want to get eaten by them. Okay, Henry. So they eat meat. But they really are amazing animals. Their eyes can spot a meal more than a mile away. Those claws are powerful weapons. They're called talons and handle all the killing of the prey. And prey is? Anything they can catch. These birds don't eat bird seed. They have to prey on or kill animals in order to eat and stay alive. That's why they're called birds of prey. Oh, come on. Remember, they can't do anything else. Hunting is what they're designed for. Look at those sharp pointed beaks. A bit like a parrot's beak, in fact. Well, no, Henry. Parrot's beaks crack nuts. Eagle's beaks are designed to rip and tear. Excuse me? I guess there's no point offering these guys a cracker, then. Having a picnic, Henry? No, I'm repainting the Sistine Chapel. Of course I'm having a picnic! Looks like you have some more guests. What? It's an air raid! What are they trying to do? Scare me to death? Anything's possible, but I think they really want some food. Oh, yeah? Like what? They're vultures, Henry. Vultures, eh? So it's, uh, meat, huh? How about a nice steak sandwich? Do you think they'll go for it? I should think so. They eat anything from antelope to zebra. Of course, that includes things like lizards, too. Anything, really. <laughs> Just so long as it's dead meat. Henry! Henry, where are you? Are you in there? Sorry. There's nobody here but us live vegetables. Don't worry, Henry. They don't all eat lizards. That's a relief. I was beginning to take it personally. Birds of prey don't mean to be personal. They're just hungry. But what they eat often depends on their size. Pygmy falcons can only eat insects. Oh, and the odd lizard. Okay, he's off my Christmas list. Some are big enough to catch small mammals. But the biggest birds can handle enormous meals. That's amazing! Some birds of prey are real specialists, like this snail kite. Let me guess. He eats the snails. Yes, and only the snails. Uh, but he's not French. Snail kites come from the marshlands of Central and South America. They fly low over the water and grab the snails with their feet before taking them off to a nearby perch. That's where they keep the garlic butter, right? No, Henry. They eat them without seasoning. 
Though like people, they do use a specially shaped tool for fishing snails out of their shells. They're amazingly hooked beaks. Hey, I thought this show was about birds of prey. Patience, Henry. Wow, is he going to eat that whole snake? Yep. Cool. Why is it cool all of a sudden? Because he'll be too full to think about hunting lizards. That's why. I wouldn't bet on it. Ah, oh, well, it was a nice thought. Next! All right. You should be okay with these vultures. They're strictly carrion birds. What? Like pigeons? Not carrier, Henry. Carrion. As in dead meat, remember? Oh, yeah, them. Whoa, there sure are a lot. Sometimes several hundred birds will feed off one carcass. And they keep on coming. I hope you made a reservation. These guys can pick a whole antelope clean in 20 minutes. Sounds like my lawyer. <laughs> they call vultures the garbage men of the savannah. What, they recycle trash? Not exactly. They clean up all the dead animals. Well, duh. I was only kidding. <laughs> Don't kid too much, Henry. Remember, it's your report soon. I was trying to forget. You know, it's been estimated that vultures eat as much meat as all the mammalian meat eaters of the savannah put together. What? More than all the cheetahs and lions and leopards and stuff? Yep. How do they know these things? Does someone stand there, like, with a calculator watching them? I don't think so, Henry. It looks like this guy's had too much of something. Vultures sometimes eat so much that they have trouble taking off again. Hey, as long as they don't eat lizards, they can eat as much as they want. Henry, it's time for your report. Hey, Henry, it's time for your special report. What? Now? Yes, Henry, now. Oh. You are ready, aren't you? Uh, of course I am. What was it about again? You're supposed to be telling us all about what secretary birds do. <laughs> oh, right. Here goes! Okay, secretary birds are called secretary birds because they look just like old-fashioned secretaries with a bunch of pens stuck behind their ears. Very good, Henry. But what do they actually do? I'm getting to that! Sheesh! What people don't know is that they're really called secretary birds because they organize bird of prey conventions. Excuse me? Why? What did you do? Anyway, once a year, all the birds of prey get together to discuss stuff like territories, uh, food, feathers, oh, and, uh, of course, vacations and pay hikes. They don't get paid, Henry. Sure they do. Why else would vultures clean up after lions? Not because they like it, that's for sure. They'd rather be home eating pizza and watching football. And those golden eagles? They don't want to be perching up on freezing cold mountain tops all day. They'd rather be out playing pool with their buddies. So anyway, the birds of prey made a deal with their bosses, the lions and tigers, and negotiated a fair day's pay for a fair day's prey. Get it? Pay? Prey? Well, never mind. Well, every year they have their pay review meeting, and the secretary birds... See, you didn't think I was going to get back to them, did you? Well, they take all the notes and organize the refreshments and stuff and make sure every bird of prey has a copy of the bird of prey rule book. And that's what secretary birds do. And that's straight from the lizard's mouth. <sighs> so, did I get an A or what? Another Z, I'm afraid, Henry. Didn't I even get one bit right? Apart from how it got its name, no. Rats! The secretary bird does get its name because it looks like an old-fashioned secretary. See? But that's nothing to do with what they actually get up to. You were way off base with that. Ah. Secretary birds live on the Great Plains of Africa and are one of the most unusual looking birds of prey. They have longer legs than any other and amazingly long eyelashes. Sounds like a few secretaries I know. Henry. Sorry.
Secretary birds are really unusual because they prefer to search for prey on foot rather than fly. They even follow bushfires, eating their victims ready barbecued. Small prey they grab with their beak, but the bigger stuff gets stamped by a flurry of fast moving talons. Excuse me, that's amazing. It's like some kind of dance of death. I suppose you could put it like that, Henry. But really, it's just what they have to do to make a living. doing up there, Henry? I made a pair of wings. I can see that. Wait, you're not going to do what I think you're going to do, are you? Sure. I'm gonna soar like an eagle, fly like a falcon, and plummet like a brick. You can't fly. Oh, no. Just watch me. Oh, don't worry. I won't fly up too high. It's not up I'm worried about. It's down. Here goes. A word. <laughs> I'd leave flying to the experts, Henry. And birds of prey really are experts. Some soar gracefully. Some hover with perfect precision. While others can dive at their prey at over a hundred miles an hour. Excuse me. That's amazing! They're amazing animals, Henry. Just watch them fly. Whoa! Did you see that? Birds of prey are such masters of flight that some, like this falcon, can even eat while they're flying. I can never do that. I'm not surprised. Yeah, well, I always did hate airline food. Oh. Vultures can soar for hour upon hour while they search for a meal. They must get tired. Ah, but it hardly takes any effort. They use warm rising air currents to lift them up high above the ground below. In fact, they can climb to incredible heights. One griffin vulture hit an airplane while flying at 37,000 feet. That's what I call flying economy. Outside the plane. Don't tell me. They can swim to incredible depths, too. He's taking a bath, Henry. Oh, right. Going out tonight, huh, guys? Don't do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> that won't restrict him too much, then. Fresh. Actually, Henry, birds of prey have to bathe in order to keep their feathers in peak condition. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to fly. And that's a bad thing, because... But they can't fly. They can't eat us animals. And bath night, that's what I say. Yes, thank you, Henry. You're welcome. And now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for Henry's Amazing Golden Gecko Awards. The prize winners for the all-time best bird of prey are... In third place is the fabulous Andean Condor, the biggest bird of prey in the world. These guys weigh as much as 25 pounds. That's heavier than a lot of turkeys. Can you see a turkey soaring over the Andes? I think not. In second place is the King Vulture, the most amazingly colorful bird of prey. Some people think all vultures are dirty, but in fact, they bathe regularly and pay close attention to personal hygiene. Let's face it, with what they eat, they need to. 
But the winner of the Golden Gecko Award for the all-time best bird of prey is... The Lamagire! The Lamagire is also known as the Bearded Vulture. But you don't win the Golden Gecko Award just because you've got some nifty facial fluff. No, sirree! <laughs> These guys win for their amazing bone-smashing habits! Watch by mom and brother. This young Lamagire is about to give a demonstration. Lamagires live on high mountains where food is hard to find, so they have to make a living from eating old bones. But bones are so tough that the Lamagire can't use its beak to break them. It has to fly up hundreds of feet just to find something hard enough. They drop the bones on the ground to smash them open. Whee! Now it can get to the tasty bone marrow, though it still has to swallow all the razor-edged bits of bone. They're so sharp that they could cut into the throats of most other animals. Lamagires are the ultimate bone disposal units, and that's why they're my all-time best bird of prey. What's the problem? I'm trying to weed the garden, but these guys just won't leave me alone. Can't you just ignore them? Right. How would you like it if... Hey, who's been digging up my garden? Looks like you've got a mole. Ooh, when I catch it, I'll... What sort of a mole is that? There's your culprit, Henry. That's a burrowing owl. A little baby owl did all that digging? That's amazing! He's not a baby. He's fully grown. In fact, it looks like he's got a family all of his own. You see, Henry, although the adult burrowing owl is less than a foot tall, it's definitely not a baby. Yeah, but that is... Oh, isn't he cute? He may be cute, but he's still a bird of prey. Yeah, but he's too little to eat me. And that's what's important. Right. Burrowing owls are unusual because they prefer the daytime to the nighttime. And I guess because they nest in burrows. You worked that out for yourself, did you? Excuse me? Hey, that's not a burrowing owl. No, it's a young osprey trying out its wings. I'd return them if I was him. Looks like they're faulty. Ow! Stop that! Very funny, Henry. I try. You see, birds have to learn how to fly just like other baby animals have to learn how to walk. Watched by mom, they start doing those wing flapping exercises when they're about a month old. They make their first flight only 10 days later. Learn to fly in 10 days? Wow! That's amazing! Maybe I should sign up. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
need is a disguise. Aha! What is it, Henry? Whoa, a falcon's hood. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, calm down, will ya? I just want to know if the vultures can see where I am now. Why do you need to ask? Because I can't see anything out of this stupid hood. Well, Henry, that's actually the point. Falcons can be upset by movement, and if they struggle, they can hurt themselves. So falconers keep their birds in the dark, and this keeps them calm. Hmm, these falconers. Are they anything to do with Mr. Spock? Nice try, but falconry is actually the ancient art of training birds of prey to hunt. I thought hunting came naturally. They're trained to hunt food for people. The birds wear jessies. Why can't they wear their own? No, Henry. That's what they call those straps on their legs. That's how the falconer holds on to them. Doesn't he get hot in that glove? Probably, but it saves getting his wrist cut to pieces by the falcon's talons. I get the point. Sharp thinking. The falconer swings his lure. That's a kind of rope with a piece of meat on the end, and the bird has to try and catch it. He swoops. He scores! Hey, I like this new game. It's not exactly new, Henry. Falconry has been practiced for nearly 4,000 years. And after that much practice, you'd think they'd get it right. Henry, birds of prey are amazingly intelligent. Falconry is only one example of how they're smart enough to work with other animals. This is another. The pale chanting goshawk has a real special partnership with the African honey badger. The goshawk likes food that lives underground, but it can't dig. So it follows the badger around and eats all its leftovers. I can relate to that. Hungry again? Excuse me. I'm always hunting for a snack. But it would be great if someone else would go get it for me. Hey, now there's an idea. Oh, <laughs> uh, where are you going now? Don't you want to see what the badger dug up? Henry! Henry! So, trying a bit of falconry for yourself, huh, Henry? Sure am. It's not as easy as it looks, though. Falconry can take years to learn. How long have you been practicing? Oh, about five minutes. Hmm. Come on, then. Show me how good you are. Okay. Here goes. Hey, where are you going? Don't worry, Henry. He won't drop you. Once you've been caught by an amazing bird of prey, you stay caught. <laughs>